Yeah. Did they in, in the town that you grew up was the was the public housing an issue there at all or? Um, you know, I I I'm not even sure, which is which probably says a lot. <laughs> um, I know that it was a thing in Bridgeport, but I don't I don't know that Trumbull had the same issue. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there were definitely trailer parks and that sort of thing. There were other ways of finding a, a place to put down roots for a while that were less expensive, but for the most part, no. Yeah, and in, in Connecticut, what was the racial makeup like up there? Well, you know, while it was not nearly as diverse as D.C., um, being in such a subset of New York City, it was more diverse than you'd think it'd be. Um, and, I mean, like, this is a very, like, prissy thing to say, but like I'm, I was raised Jewish and you know, coming anywhere in this area, I've been a lot of people's first Jewish person that they've known and that was definitely not the case where I grew up and I mean, I, there are all sorts of races and religions were represented even in just my high school. Um, it, was, it was a pretty dynamic place to be and actually there were a lot of kids who found their way into Trumbull Public Schools um, when Bridgeport Public Schools were failing them. So um, there was definitely a lot, a lot of diversity happening there, more, really more than you would think. Mm -hmm.